The 1995 Okinawa rape incident took place on September 4, 1995, when three U.S. servicemen, U.S. Navy seamen Marcus Gill and U.S. Marines Rodrigo Harp and Kendrick Lede, who were all serving at Camp Hansen on Okinawa, rented a van and kidnapped a 12-year-old Okinawan girl. They beat her, duct-taped her eyes and mouth shut, and bound her hands. Gill and Harp then raped her, while Lede claimed he only pretended to do so out of fear of Gill. The incident led to further debate over the continued presence of U.S. forces in Japan. The offenders were tried and convicted in Japanese court by Japanese law, in accordance with the U.S.-Japan Status of Forces Agreement. The families of the defendants initially claimed that Japanese officials had racially discriminated against the men because they were all black and coerced confessions from them, but later retracted the claims. Reaction after the incident became known, public outrage erupted, especially over the U.S.-Japan Status of Forces Agreement, which gives the U.S. service members a certain measure of extraterritoriality, exemption from jurisdiction of local law only as it relates to the place the suspects were detained. While the crime was committed away from a U.S. military base, the U.S. initially took the men into custody on September 6. Although false rumors spread that the suspects were free to roam the base and had been seen eating hamburgers, the suspects were in fact held in a military brig until the Japanese officials charged them with the crime. Despite an immediate request by Japanese law enforcement for custody and eventual trial, the men were only handed over on September 29, after the Japanese had formally indicted them. This delay followed the Status of Forces Agreement, which states, the custody of an accused member of the United States Armed Forces or the civilian component over whom Japan is to exercise jurisdiction shall, if he is in the hands of the United States, remain with the United States until he is charged. Although the military drove the suspects to police headquarters in Naha for daily interrogations, the SOFA provision and the delay in handing over the suspects increased the outrage over the attack, causing the largest anti-American demonstrations in Okinawa since the treaty was signed in 1960. As a consequence of the protests regarding jurisdiction, the U.S. made concessions and agreed to consider handing suspects over to the Japanese before an indictment if the severity of the alleged crime warranted it. This agreement was hashed out at an emergency meeting between U.S. President Bill Clinton and Japanese Prime Minister Ryuotaro Hashimoto. The people of Okinawa also placed a full-page ad in the New York Times decrying the rape and other aspects of the U.S. bases in Okinawa. In 1996, the United States and Japan signed a bilateral agreement to reduce the amount of land on Okinawa covered by U.S. bases by 21%. The U.S. military had previously occupied 19% of the island.U.S. Navy Admiral Richard C. Mackey was the commander of United States Pacific Command at the time of the attack. At a press conference in November 1995, Mackey said of the men's actions, I think it was absolutely stupid. I have said several times. For the price they paid to rent the car, used in the crime, they could have had a girl, prostitute. These remarks were condemned as insensitive, and Mackey was removed from his post and forced into early retirement. He was also reduced in rank to Rear Admiral, 2 Star, from Full Admiral, 4 Star, which reduced his pension from US dollar 7, 384 months to US dollar 5, 903 month. Trial Gill pleaded guilty to the rape, and the other two men pleaded guilty to conspiracy. The trial concluded in March, 1996. Prosecutors have asked for the maximum sentences for the men, 10 years each. The judge sentenced Gill and Harp to seven years imprisonment, Lede received six and a half years. Their families also paid reparation money to the family of the victim, a common practice in Japan. After Mathi three men served prison terms in Japanese prisons and were released in 2003 and then given other than honorable discharge from the military. After release, Rodrigo Harp decried prison conditions in Japan and said that the electronics assembly prison labor he was forced to do amounted to slave labor. Lede, who had claimed he did not rape the girl, 
died in 2006 in an apparent murder-suicide in the United States. He was found in the third-floor apartment of Lauren Cooper, a junior Kennesaw State University student and acquaintance whom he had apparently raped and murdered by strangulation. He then took his own life by using a knife to slice open his veins at the elbows. In 2008, a film called The First Breath of Tangan Rea based on this incident was released. In December 2011, then Defense Minister Yasuo Ichikawa was the subject of a censure motion from the opposition Liberal Democratic Party for failing to know the details of the rape. This followed his subordinate Satoshi Tanaka speaking with reporters in a bar and using euphemisms for rape to discuss moving the U.S. Futanma Air Base. Tanaka was terminated as director of the Okinawa Defense Bureau, and in the cabinet reshuffle of January 13, 2012, Ichikawa was replaced by Naoki Tanaka. See also rape during the occupation of Japan sexual assault in the U.S. military 1945 Katsuyama killing incident 1955 Yamaiko Chen incident 2002 Okinawa Michael Brown incident References